Hello, in this short video I'd like to show you how to mirror or reflect a mesh with respect to a plane. So there are many uh, examples, there are many situations where you want to do that. For example, let's say you run a uh, simulation for half of your model uh, with symmetry boundary condition and now you want to run it for uh, the entire model. So instead of going working on the geometry uh, recreating the mesh, you can use the mesh that you have and simply just mirror that mesh with respect to the symmetry plane. Other cases where you might want to use this feature is when your geometry has kind of uh, translational periodicity. So in that case, let's say uh, if you want to create the mesh for the entire geometry, it might be uh, it might be very uh, the mesh might take a long time but what you can do is to create a mesh only for a part of your geometry and then use this feature to reflect the mesh and uh, create the mesh for your uh, entire geometry so let's uh, look at the example here I have a chip located on a board it's a kind of an electronic box and I'm looking at the flow over uh, this uh, chip here so one side I have symmetry boundary condition assigned so now what I want to do is, is to mirror the mesh uh, with respect to this uh, symmetry plane which actually happens to be my uh, XZ plane so from outline you can see your uh, mesh with the CMDB extension here mine the mesh is called CFX I have created the model in uh, workbench so this is the name that workbench uh, gives the mesh uh, by default so I right click here transform mesh so from the transformation method what you want to do is to select reflection and then here we have different methods for that so either you can uh, reflect the mesh with respect to a plane uh, using a point and a normal uh, to that point which gives us a plane or three points which again gives us a plane so here uh, for me it's actually easier because I my symmetry plane is already the X Z plane then what I want to do is to keep the original and make a copy because I want to have both in case you don't want to if you want to just reflect the mesh but not keep the copy uh, you can select the first option but in my case I want to have the uh, I want to keep the original and make a copy and then in advanced options uh, there is uh, in glue uh, adjacent meshes you want to make sure that this is selected otherwise you're going to have an interface and for in glue strategy I set it to be location and transform so you can turn on this option automatic transformation preview which uh, shows you a preview of the mesh which is helpful basically you can see how the mesh looks like make sure that the plane that you have selected for reflecting the mesh is the good plane mine is good here and click on apply okay so now close this here and if I go to uh, default domain now I see that both uh, mesh, the original one and the copy, they are under default domain. But now I have in default domain default, I have all the new uh, created faces. They are in this uh, default domain default. What I need to do is to uh, go ahead uh, and add the faces that are created. Uh, to the boundary conditions that I already had. So like for example, if I go to board here, so I have already uh, created name selection for uh, this face here, board. And if I go here, you can see board two. So this actually makes it easier to go ahead and uh, select the, uh, the new created faces. Okay, and you can click on okay. So you wanna do the same thing for the rest of them. Uh, there is this asymmetry here, which I no longer need this is supposed to be just an internal phase so what I can do is to delete this okay and as I delete that you notice that there is no uh, basically there is no interface created and 
it's not in the default domain default either because as I said this is an internal phase we have good the mesh uh, so we don't need any boundary conditions to be assigned there okay I hope you enjoyed this short video if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us thank you Thank you.